With the spring home shopping season practically here, a lot of people probably thinking about it after the weather today. A lot of New Yorkers may soon be wrestling with the question should I buy or should I rent? Fox 5's Allison Morris shows us a new way, though, to figure it out. New York City is, of course, a city of renters. Over 66% of the population here are renters. So, when is it time to take the home buying plunge in New York City? The tipping point, a new metric from Street Easy, may help you answer that tough question. Our research looks at the typical amount of time it would take in each neighborhood and borough throughout the city for it to make sense financially to buy rather than to continue renting. Across New York City, the average tipping point is lower than you might expect, about five years. But that can vary dramatically by neighborhood and borough. It gets a lot lower in some parts of Queens where. Uh, in Alley Park, for example, it's just just over one year. In uh, West Harlem, here in Manhattan, it was 1.2 years. So there's a lot of variety. And on the upper end, neighborhoods like Soho, Tribeca, and Carnegie Hill, where the Costs of homeownerships are so is so much higher. It could take in excess of 30 years for that median tipping point to, to take effect. Buying versus renting is about a lot more than just home prices, especially in New York City. So we looked at the median sale price. We also looked at taxes um, and fees that you would probably end up paying in New York City that doesn't apply elsewhere, like condo fees and in uh, the case of New York City, the mansion tax. So if you're buying a property above a million dollars, you have to pay a tax on that. And remember. While a neighborhood may be affordable, that doesn't mean buying a home there is a wise investment. Consider where home prices are going in an area. That's a huge factor in uh, what your return on your investment is going to be. And so, for example, in some areas of the Bronx, we see really high tipping points because home value appreciation is very low, and in some cases, even negative. Another thing to consider when home buying the down payment. Street Easy factored in about 25%, which is a typical down payment in New York City. So, would you be better off renting and investing that money somewhere else? Just another factor in the big question rent or buy. I'm Allison Morris, Fox 5 News.